Hey guys, a box just arrived that I hope contains a solution to a problem I've mentioned a few times over the past few months. Let's take a look. Needing to get a bunch of 1B3 rectifiers. Well, there should be a hundred of them in here. Now, some of you, I think, got the wrong impression. It's not that I can't find them. Yeah, all the tube vendors have them. They're on eBay. But I need a lot of them. And I want a bunch of new old stock. And I don't want to pay five bucks a pop for tubes that I hear over and over and over again. They're worthless. They have no value. I keep seeing guys post in the radio forums that they're worthless, good for target practice, nobody wants them. So, time and again, I've made offers to, hey guys, you got TV tubes you don't want? Let me know what you got, I'll make you an offer. And time again, people would disappear or back down or say, well, I got rid of them a long time ago, I don't really have what you're looking for. Well, I finally found a vendor, thanks to a tip from one of you guys, that is having a sale on TV tubes, some of the TV tubes, and the more you buy, the less the price is, so we got 100 of these guys for 50 cents a piece. Uh, I've never bought from this tube vendor before though, so I have no idea what I actually got in terms of what brand they are, are they really new old stock, uh, how have they aged, interesting. Uh, they're not individually boxed like I'm used to, <laughs> but they do all appear identical. Oh, they are the old... They're Russian. <laughs> 1B3GT, USSR. Okay, that I wasn't expecting. <laughs> I've used Russian tubes in the past, uh, but I'm used to ones that had uh, like Cyrillic writing on them, and uh, they were fine. Like I got some 6SL7s, 12SL7 equivalents, and it worked okay. Uh, so, it'll be interesting to, to try these out. Yeah, okay. I wonder when these were made. Yeah, made in USSR tube 1B3GT. One plate high voltage glass enveloped Kenatron 1B3GT. So we got specs and all. These are made. It's got some age to it. I don't see a date in here. Seal, seal of Quality Control Department. This tube meets the specifications. So. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. So these might very well have been surplus from when the Soviet Union collapsed. So there's another little tray of these in here. And then I bought some other tubes too. In particular tubes that will work in predictors. So, that's what's in here, I presume, and these, I think, are more likely to be uh, American-made, but we shall see. For no other reason, I can't imagine there being a de demand outside the U.S. for something like a 4BC8 uh, tube used in tuners for a very brief time and just a few sets. Yeah, this is what I was expecting. We'll get some Raytheon, some standard tubes, Dumas, Westinghouse, Elbenko. Well, these are more curious. What's actually in these boxes? The 6DE6. So, I mean, yeah, it's a 6 de 6 there's no ma manufacturer labeled on it, these are generic kind of cartons, or they've been, like, reprinted with labels, but it does, but they're new tubes. A bunch of 3BZ6s and 6 de 6s they're used in the IFs, and, uh, both the transformer-based and series-strung. 
predictors. So that's definitely a new old stock Raytheon to you. There should be a second tier under these. Bunch of 5 AMH, 6 AMH, 3 B 6s Dumont's, Westinghouse, GE. So, yeah, yeah that's fine. <coughs> so as best my memory serves, the way the sale went and is going is if you get 10 they're 75 cents each, and if you get a hundred, they're 50 cents each. So that's that's what I got. Uh, might as well open up this one, two, and see what's actually in here. Now the seller didn't list any brands or say where they were made or anything like that. So yeah, exactly the same thing. Except this one doesn't have that sheet with the specs on them. I mean, they, they look just like what I would expect, and the getters are good, so, you know, we'll give them a try. We'll give them a try. So I sure need a bunch, because every one, just about every set I've encountered lately, they've been bad. And, uh, most of what I have on hand are used ones. And these are notoriously difficult to check. They'll even typically say in the tester that it's good if it's 35 above or so. In other words, typically when you put these in a tester, the emissions needle will be in the bad region. And when you look at the fine print in the tester, they'll still have a note saying that, yeah, they're still okay if they test in the bad region because these are meant to run with a plate voltage in the thousands of volts. And your tube tester is not putting anywhere near that much on it. So, really the only way to test them is to put them in a set. And if it's a used one, yeah, it might work, but you have no idea what the heck, how much life it may have left. So I'd much rather go with new ones. Well, I've tried those Soviet 1B3s in a few sets now. They seem to work just fine. Uh, before I start using them in any, in any customer sets, though, I'll do some endurance testing. I'll use them in some of my personal sets and uh, uh, you know if, if no issues crop up after running them for for a number of hours uh, I don't see any real reason not to go with them and in general I'm happy with this tube vendor uh, they got uh, a good sale going on I'll leave a link in the description of where you can check them out yourself thanks for watching